This video is some quick help with Everyday Math 3rd grade Homelink 7.9 and the Homelink is titled Mystery Numbers and these are little puzzles where we use our math knowledge and skills to solve these quick puzzles. And here is giving us a range uh, of where the number is between. So it's greater than this column and it's less than this column. And then here's the clue. So the first clue is a three-digit number. So we know it has three digits greater than 20 and less than 101. This is our big clue. There's only one three-digit number less than 101. And that's the key thing here. So this is between 197 and 200, which makes it quite easy because there's only three numbers between those two. Let's list them. Or wait, there's only two numbers between those two, not three. And your other hint is that it's any odd number. So which of these two is the odd number? Hopefully you know that. Okay, other hints are going to tell you about place value. So this number has a zero in the ones place. So we only need to figure out the tens place. And it's between 67 and 80, and like all of these, there's only one number that's between those two with a zero in the ones place. So just think about it a little bit and use your knowledge of place value and odd numbers and things like that to help you out here. And the next part is where you get to make up your own mystery number puzzles. And this is a chance for you to kind of show off what you know about math. And I mean show off in a good way, not like in a bragging way but show how much you know about uh, place value and facts and things. Uh, the key thing here is you need to make sure that there's only one number that will f uh, fit your clues and your greater than less than. So you could go about it in more than one way. I'm going to go ahead and just choose a number um, and then try to make some clues that fit this. So how can I give a clue for this? I'm going to give a clue about the ones place here. So again, please make your own number and your own clues, but my clue here is the ones place is 4 times 2, which is the hint for the ones place. But there's a lot of numbers where the ones place is 4 times 2. It could be 48 or 38 or 568. So now I need to put in a greater than and less than that would fit just this number. You can also think of the clues first. So maybe I want to talk about square products which we've studied. So that's going to be one of my clues and think about what are your square product like these. So I could maybe choose a greater than less than and have a square product as my mystery number. So make at least two of these and then we could even type them up and share them with each other or share them with other people who watch this video if you want to do some more mystery number puzzles just for a fun way to practice your math. So my class maybe will publish uh, some of the mystery number puzzles we come up with and we can link to it in the description of this video. Um, and if you have questions about anything here, you can just post it. Thank you.